Hello Virgo. So we are going to go ahead and get started. I have prayed over the cards and shuffled them. I have asked that each of you get your three messages. These first cards are from Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'm going to pull one from John Holland's Psychic Tarot for the Heart deck. Move these up just a little bit. And last, I'm going to Pull two from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels deck. Okay, great. Just the overarching. A number of you have been in a conflict with your partner. A large number of you are in a relationship. It's been very challenging. A lot of conflict. This just kind of really worn you down and really made you lack confidence in, in yourself and confidence in the relationship that it's going to work out. And even for some of you, the relationship has ended and you've lost confidence in yourself and faith in in getting back to a place of in your eyes feeling worthy so let's go ahead if you look at this card it's seven of gabriel and if you can read the bottom of it it says stand up for what you believe in have confidence and you know you can see that you know she's she's riding through a storm on this winged white horse and there's lightning going on behind her, pretty violent storm, but she's not even paying attention to it. And um, she's just riding through to the other end. So what I'm getting is, for a number of you, this is, this is trying to let you know that it's time for you to stand up for yourself. I get a number of you, you've been in a really toxic relationship and it's made you doubt yourself. I think for some of you, it's almost as though the, the, the partner that you've been with has been like verbally abusive and and kind of like in, in, in those, for those of you that, you know, that's a message it, I get their young children around. So by you standing up for yourself, you're also going to be an advocate for them so that they don't see that. And they don't think that that's how people treat the ones that they love. Because you don't want your children to be in a relationship like that. You don't want them to think that that's acceptable. So what they want you to do is, is to really have courage for, and, and really stand up for yourself. And for some of you, I get that standing up for yourself and having the courage to speak up for yourself will help turn things around. For some of you, I get that will be an end so that you can head into that next chapter of your life. But you're not happy and, it, and I get that it's, it's, it's a lot of things that have been going on for a long time that you've been, you've been being torn down by this person for a long time. And it's, not, it's like you're at the point where enough's enough. It's time for you to forge forward. It's time for you to stand up for yourself and, and to not put up with that mistreatment any longer. Claim your personal power and have confidence. And, and what goes hand in hand with that is, is to have the strength. And this is a, a major arcana card. And major arcanas are, are talking about life-changing catalyst moments. The, you know, the other cards there, minor arcanas, it's it's day-to-day -day operations, day-to-day -day activities. But, but these are things that are going to completely change your life for the better. And what they're saying is that if you can have the strength, the self-confidence, that courage, this is going to be the thing that changes your life for the better. And if you read the bottom of it, it says strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. So I get that you're very compassionate and I get that it's almost as though you've not stood up and spoken up for yourself because you are very kind and compassionate and loving and understanding and, and very sensitive to others. And, and that is a gift. That is, that is one of your gifts from God. But at the same time, you're not showing yourself that kindness. You're not showing yourself that love, that compassion. You're giving it all to your partner and you're completely losing sight of yourself in the process. And for some of you, I get that you've gone through a recent breakup. And I get for some of you, going through this breakup, you, you feel like you don't even know who you are. You're, you're feeling as though you don't have the strength and the courage to move forward. And for those of you that have come out of that recent breakup, they are there to help you find your strength, to find your confidence again, to forgive yourself, to love yourself so that you can move forward because it's time for you to move forward because they have better things for you. And they're there to help you. You just need to ask for help and they will give you that strength. They'll give you that courage. They'll help you step back into your personal power. Next card that we have is Two of Michael. And if you read the bottom of it, it says it will all be better if you just make a decision. Overanalyzing a problem, find a compromise. And you'll find that you have two unicorns there, their horns are locked. 
they're just not going anywhere. I get that a number of you, you have been in a standstill with your partner. Neither of you's budging, almost as though you're both stubbornly digging your heels in. And for some of you, I get it's because you're not standing up for what you believe in. You're not speaking your truth, but you're stubbornly standing your ground, but you're not ex expressing to your partner what it is you're thinking and feeling, which could help end the conflict. If you would just speak up for yourself, because I get a number of you, you're just suppressing and stuffing down your emotions and what you think and what you feel. And it's just having the two of you go in circles with your horns locked. And for some of you, I'm getting that they, you've even gotten like a lot of intuitive guidance, but, but you're not listening to that guidance. So you continue to go in circles. And, and for some of you, I get that, you know, you're overanalyzing the situation, but you won't make a decision. And some of you, you know, you're really just hoping it'll go away. So you're dodging it and ignoring it and you're not making a decision. But I really get that, that there's a big conflict. There's a big situation where you're not able to agree with your partner. And then I get internally with you, there's a big conflict because it's almost, um, for some of you, it's a conflict between like your heart in your mind when you think logically you think of one decision when you think with your your heart your emotions you come to a completely different decision but you can't even make a decision internally to then come to a compromise with your partner and i guess that's just exhausting it's caused a lot of turmoil and a lot of stress in your relationship to where some of you have even thought okay this is it we're just going to throw in the towel but they want to know you can come to a compromise with this you can work this out but you are going to have to start listening to that intuitive information you're getting you are going to have to make a decision and you are going to have to feel your emotions and speak your truth and speak up for yourself in order to move forward and for some of you, I get it's really going to be easy. For some of you, I get that if you will just speak your emotions with your partner and just honestly share with them what you're feeling and thinking, it'll clear the situation right up. But you're not wanting to share that with them. And that's all it's going to take to fix it. So there is a solution. You will be able to resolve it and come to a compromise. But you're going to have to, you know, make a decision, share that, communicate that. Next card we have. This is also a major arcana card. And this says observe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read his guidebook because this is a new deck. And they're telling me to just read it for you. So, hey, we'll do that. So this card is talking, it, it, it's talking about releasing. It's talking about surrender, um, changing perspective and patience. So let's go ahead and read what they've got in here. A new understanding around matters of the heart is waiting to be revealed to you. Be still and observant. Now is not the time to take action. Instead, take a step back and wait. Reflect upon the relationship or issue. What is really happening? Release the need or desire to direct the relationship and simply go with the course of events. When you surrender to the experience, you'll learn a great deal and ultimately get what you truly need. Sometimes it's in releasing that we discover what we really need as opposed to what we think we need. Trust the process, have faith in the journey, and let go of the outcome. Although forward progress may appear to be slow, now is the time for patience. All things come in the appropriate time and cycle. Progress in improving a current relationship or finding a new relationship will happen when the time and energies are right. When you're open and receptive to the needed change, it will happen. During the process of simply observing, you can also gain a new perspective on the situation. How might you think differently about it? Look at your relationship through the eyes of an impartial stranger. What insights could that stranger offer you? Listen to the observations with an open mind and heart. By taking a fresh look, you'll bring in energies of awareness and transformation. So again, I get for, for those of you that are in a relationship, you've got your, you know, horns locked. I do get that it can be turned around. For those of you that are looking for a relationship, it's going to be some inward perspectives and also some healing. I get for a number of you, there's going to, you know, once you do that um, you go inside and, and you really do look and observe and evaluate, you're going to find some things that are going to need to be healed and released, but that is going to prepare you for the relationship that you desire. But you just need to take a look at your life. And there is an affirmation in here that is, it states, I now take a step back and observe my situation in a new light. And by looking at it objectively, separating it from yourself, seeing what it is that you're supposed to learn, you will be able to progress forward. Next card we have is trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. For those of you that are in a relationship and have the conflict, they want you to trust that, that it is going to get better. Everything, it's, 
everything is, is as it's supposed to be, that there is going to be a resolution, it will get better. But don't add any more fear to the situation because it only it's just going to create more ne negativity, more drama, more conflict, and you don't need that. Just trust and it will get better. For those of you that are single, I'm getting that you need to trust because I get for a number of you, you know, you're frustrated that you haven't found someone. For some of you, I get that you're actually in a relationship and, and you're not sure if you can trust the person that you're with, but I do get that you can trust that person. And by trusting them, you'll be able to deepen your, your connection with them because you're building a block. You're building up a wall by not trusting them. And you can deepen that love, deepen that partnership by just having faith and completely trusting them. And for those of you, again, that are single, by, by trusting that it's all working out as it's supposed to, and having faith, you'll find yourself to be back in a place of positivity. And and that's where, you know, dreams manifest. That's where things can actually happen. If you come from that versus a place of lack, you'll actually be able to bring in the partner that you desire. And the last card we have is soulmate. At the bottom it says, yes, this is your soulmate. So I get that um, a number of you have met someone and and you feel this like connection with this person you you feel comfortable with them more comfortable with them than than you've ever felt with anyone else and and you've been wondering is this person my soulmate is that possible and they want you to know that yes it's possible and yes that person you thought of they are your soulmate and there are all types of soulmates you know we have soulmates that are not romantic partners we have soulmates that are friends, family, co-workers. Soulmates, you know, come into this lifetime together with a soul contract, an agreement to help each other spiritually grow or to just, you know, personally grow. But this is a soulmate of yours. It is a romantic soulmate. And, and you can trust that. And, and you know that and you have felt that. So they want you to know, just trust that. And for those of you that are single, they're looking, but they're also wanting you to remind is that, you know, the best of relationships are worth waiting for. You know, if you're, if you're really wanting that soulmate, you're going to have to do your inner work first in order to prepare yourself for that love. Because that, that also comes back to the law of attraction. Because, you know, if you're not valuing yourself and loving yourself and you're not sure of your worth and value, you're going to be attracting people that don't value you and don't truly see your worth and don't love you as deeply as you'd like. But if you really love you, yourself and you know your worth and you know your value and, and you are just enjoying life, you're going to find someone that's also at that place of being healthy, whole, and they are going to love you. And they're going to know how much you are worth. You're, you're going to have a healthy relationship. So they want you to know that those of you that are single, just keep focusing on you, healing you, getting yourself ready for that soulmate connection because it's all steps, it's all baby steps. Right now, the step is focused on you. So take the time to heal, find your strength, get ready for what's to come. So overall, I do think that this is good, coming to compromises, healing, have courage, strength. Those of you who have met your soulmates, those of you that are going to be, and trusting, because it all is working out perfectly, so. Thank you to everyone for subscribing to my channel and commenting. I love all the feedback that you leave in the comments. Thank you for all of that. Filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.